I should. Thank you. Sorry. I should have fallen over, really. Huh? You know, every time you're You've on, done that before, Something Terry. happens, yeah. Uh, yeah. You brought the mist. It's very nice. There's, uh, you fell over and there's a mist. Something disastrous has got to happen. Yeah, I'm sure. That's Would you care to. Probably a sun reporter under there. Um, oh, God. Do you care to, <laughs> to, try, to try that dumbbell? To, huh? Or would you. Well. Do you think we could lift that up? You may be able to. Let's have a go. Come on. Oh, to... gosh. Steady, bend at the knees. <laughs> it's like Rod Stewart's wallet. <laughs> You're a trained athlete, of course. That's what it is, isn't it? Yes. You've just come back from China. I have indeed. Cheering on Watford. Yes, indeed. There's no truth that you're backing out of Watford, is oh, there? No, I wouldn't have gone to China otherwise. Uh, yeah. No. They did well, didn't they? They won the cup. We won five games in a row. And we won the uh, Great Wall Cup. They were magnificent, yeah. Yeah. So what about Graham Taylor leaving? You're a bit sad about that. Of course, yes. Yeah. But after ten years, it's very hard to get motivated anymore. And he wanted to go and try something else. And we're such good friends, and hopefully always will be, that we decided to let him go and with our best wishes. Um, he's done so much for the club. We wouldn't be a Watford football club without Graham Taylor. So how can you possibly stand in the man's way who can have done that so much? Yeah, but you've, you've had a mixed year. It's been a, a, a up and down a bit, hasn't it? Oh, it's down more than up. <laughs> it's coming up now. Yeah. How about you, Jennifer? Have you had a mixed year? Or has it been good for you? I hate to admit it, but I've had a great year. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Professionally, personally, Professionally, uh... personally, everything. I'm a very happy person. Yeah. So how come the two of you have, have got together like this to make a record? I mean, neither of you, in a sense, needs the other. No. Um, it happened last year. We'd made it last year, actually, in, in the aut autumn of last year. A song was written by a friend of mine called Bruce Roberts, who's uh, a really good songwriter in America. And he sent me the tape and said, would you be interested in doing this with Jennifer? And I said, yeah, because I think she's got a fantastic voice. And those th these things are kind of nice to do. Uh, once in a while because you do albums, you tour, and then you have the chance to sing with somebody on a one-off basis and it's yeah. kind of like a breath of fresh air. It's, it's good fun. Have, yeah. you, have you sung as a, a duo before? Have you ever... I've never sung as a duo. Actually, I'm used to also singing also all my own background vocals on an album, so it's the first time I got to sing with somebody else yeah. who you... I respected. Yeah. Well, there's not many people you, you respect in show I know, but he's just one of, one of the very few. Yeah. But it's difficult, isn't it, if you haven't done it before? He's sung duets before. Right. <laughs> but, 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 but you haven't. I mean, you've, you've, got, I haven't, no. you've got to stop singing and let him sing sometimes. No. That's, That's rough. Enough. That's yeah, rough. It but is rough. No. He's a gentleman, so we, yeah. we got along very well. Because I've been hearing about his voice. Mm -hmm. he, let's face it, he was never the best singer in the world, was he, Jennifer? Yeah. I, I don't know about that. Yeah, well, I wouldn't say he was rubbish. No. <laughs> no. I would say, you know. No. He's a wonderful singer and a wonderful musician, and I I'm wouldn't have worked with anybody else. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Good he, God. He's a good. <laughs> he's a good person, and he's wearing golf shoes. Um, sort of. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, correspondent shoes. There. Yes. They, really? they're, they're, maybe they're like Minnie Mouse. But you remember, <laughs> we had the reason I say it about the voice is that uh, there were rumours that you'd, you'd gone down an octave. Um, there've been rumours. A lot of rumours this year. Um, <laughs> Um, we won't dwell on that. This is a family show. It, um, <laughs> my voice has gotten deeper since the operation, yes. Well, I thought there was a certain more yes. manly quality about yeah. it. Yeah. What are you trying to incinerate? No, no, nothing. Yes. <laughs> no, honest. Yes. But uh, do you find it that it's deeper? That, um, but, but what about in the upper register? Can you still reach the high notes? Um, occasionally, yeah. Actually, I did lose my falsetto for about three weeks, but then... <laughs> Suddenly, I got it back again. <laughs> No, I'm not telling you how. Um, <laughs> I have a court case coming up. Um, <laughs> yeah. I know it, it was a bit worrying for a time, but it's just I damaged my voice by singing for three or four years constantly right. on the road, which you shouldn't do. Yeah, I mean, you were never a trained singer. I mean, you, you, you never went to... Did you ever go to a voice coach or anything? Uh, not really, no. Um, yeah, but I'd like to say that I grew up in a house of opera singers. Yes, I was going to and ask And even you opera singers lose their voices. We hear about Operation for Notes all the time. And it's a very big risk being a singer and singing so much. The next tour I'm doing is three nights on and one night off. But I have gone through the last tour, 14 nights on, one night off, back again. To, and anybody would lose their voice in this situation. Anybody. Did you, you come from a family of, at least your father was yes. an, an operatic singer. Yeah. 
I mean, did, do you think you'd let the side down a bit by going into popular music? Not at all, not at all. My father's very proud of what I'm doing, and uh, he thinks it's great. Wouldn't I don't you? think I've let it down what's because wrong, wrong I'm a singer. What's wrong with music? That's it's right. A bit, it's a bit common. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's common cool, at all. Well, that's rich coming from you, dear. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Huh. Thank you. <laughs> compared, compared, compared to opera, you know. I mean, mm. wouldn't you prefer to be Kira Tikanoa? Not at all. Not at all. Mm. Because I think She'd that have to live in New Zealand, then. That number one... <laughs> Number two <laughs> Nothing is... wrong with New Zealand, by the way. <laughs> no. too, late. Too, late. too late. Too late. Yes, too late. <laughs> I think a good voice is a good voice, and it's true in the pop world. I mean, it drives me crazy, too, when you hear somebody on a record and you know that this is not their real voice. Yeah. But if I know that I can sing, and I'm very proud of what I'm singing or something that I've written, I don't have any problem being a pop singer at all. Mm. Mm. You, what have, you would have preferred to have been Placid Domingo, wouldn't you, or Luciano Pavarotti? <laughs> I don't know. At the beginning of the year, I'd have preferred to be Ellen Shapiro. Um, <laughs> um, I'm glad you're not, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to You bear sing more than a passing resemblance. Uh, uh, thank you. I'm walking back to happiness. <laughs> Whoop bar. Oh, yeah, yeah. But um, uh, <laughs> you're not. You, uh, haven't, you haven't been scarred by the. Or have you been badly? Um, I was. Yeah, I was very down in the dumps. Um, but I tell you what, the great British public was so fantastic. So mm. many great letters from people. And uh, yes, it hurts you a bit. But then when you consider that you've still got your health and everything like that, it's, it's, uh, yeah. it, it doesn't really... You have to really realise the situation you're in and not get too down in the dumps. I tell you what, that, I mean, you are a philanthropist. You do give a great deal of, of time and money to I other... I am <laughs> yes. To other things. Yes. Ragged trousers. Yes. Yeah. To other things besides uh, your career, and, and uh, one would have hoped that they would emphasise the more positive things rather than... Mm. Why they go for the negative all the time is beyond me. Well, that, I mean, it's just an awful newspaper. <laughs> They've had go they must have had goes at you. Well, I, I think, in, in, in fairness to one newspaper, the, the popular newspapers yeah. in general do tend to go for sensation all the time, don't they? And, I've, and had, a lot of, I've had a lot say, of support from other newspapers. People so. will say that people like you, and to mm. a much lesser extent somebody like me, we're in the public eye, we get paid well, and therefore if we put our heads above the parapet, they're entitled to try and shoot the, shoot the head off mm. you, aren't they? Well, I think that, that is true to a certain extent, although I think that the other, news, other newspapers really helped me a lot. They tried to support me, and I'm very grateful for that. Not everybody is uh, tarnished with the same brush. And, I mean, it's, it doesn't I mean, I don't have any vengeful uh, feelings towards journalists who work on that newspaper either. It's just certain, certain things uh, were wrong, and certain things would be corrected. So what, what, about, what about your marriage, if I may ask? Are you... Oh, wife's in the green room up there. Um, you know, it's very hard for her. I mean, this certain mm. newspaper's been saying that she's been going away, and left me alone last week, and, and gone to Champneys with a girlfriend. It's, it's, it's just horrendous gossip. My wife and I, have, actually, through this crisis, we've had a little bit of trouble, but we got back together again because of this, um, which is one of the more positive things. Um, we love each other. And I was just going through a bad patch in my life, anyway. It had nothing to do with her. But, I mean, they try and attack everybody. Your family... It's not particularly you that gets mm. hurt so much. It's the people around you that really get hurt. The people at work at Watford, you know, the people say, oh, is it true about your chairman, you know? Yeah. And the 500 nymphets from Bradford City. <laughs> you know? I only wish it was, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Jennifer? Any... <laughs> no, no. Any... She's not a nymphette from Bradford City. <laughs> <laughs> no, You're not a nymphette. She's not. A nymphette. No. No, 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 nymphette. I don't even know what it is, so I'm no. not that. No. <laughs> it's a fairy-like creature with wings. Thank well, you very much. That would be okay. Yeah. Greetings! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, have you decided to get married, or are you, you a single lady who will remain so? Do you, do you, is your career your first priority? E. No, I have a boyfriend, and we're very happily together, and we've been together now for four years, and I'm very happy the way it is. If I have time to get married and do what other people get to do, which is think about their wedding, where they want to have it, have all their family there from all over the world, yeah. I need a little time for that, but I'm I, very happy and uh, I was, I was that's a, that. I was a bit... I, was, I wasn't asked to your wedding in, in Australia. Uh, no, you weren't. I, I oh, that is I, disgusting. I would have gone. You would have gone. Yeah. But there was coach tickets off ago. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah. now that you can never go back to New Zealand... Yes. I just want you to know <laughs> that we're all glad to see you here. God, God, I'm so sorry, New Zealand. Yeah, no. but we wish no. you and Jennifer well. Thanks very much. It's a great pleasure to see you again. Thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
That's it here, the moon burning. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. If, if you wouldn't mind carrying off that dumbbell as you go. Yes. Yes, right. Mm. Well, that's it. See you next week. My guests will include Placido Domingo, or as he's better known. Tina <laughs> Turner. <Tewanawa. laughs> Tina Turner. Douglas Fairbanks, Junior Jean Marsh, Sir Robin Day. And if you're going out to play cricket this weekend, don't forget, wrap up warm. <laughs>